Welcome to Medica Nova Wellness Studio. I'm Dr. Angelica Maria Koch with your educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach to your well-being. So today I decided to share with you all a wonderful topic about how to support your children developing years with effective natural therapeutic tools. So this video is geared for parents with young children, so enjoy. To stay updated with my ongoing videos, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for the notification, share and like it with your friends and family, and have a look at my website, medicanova.net, at the online academy, where you will find fantastic home study online courses in first aid homeopathy for the whole family, uh, birthing, uh, quantum healing, and soon wellness coaching. If you're interested in a personal health consultation, either for yourself or your children, contact me at health at mediconova.net. I want to introduce you to a very special kind of natural supplements. They are available at your local health food store. They are affordable and they are truly a gift from heaven. The products I'm talking about are called homeopathic biochemic tissue salts, or in the US, cell salts. There are 12 different mineral compounds and you see them on the shelves and they have these white bottles and they have a number on it. And in this video we want to focus on two of them. One is called calcium phosphate which comes with the number two and ferrum phosphate with the number four. But what are these remedies all about? You know often you go to a shop and you ask even the staff what are they? And they often don't have a clue. So this video will educate you a little bit. But we're going to start with the basic information or a little bit of a history. So you really can understand what I want to convey in this video. Minerals in general have been used in the treatment of human illness since about the 16th century. The Swiss physician Paracelsus really started this whole thing. He was in the sort of the mid 1500s, changed the face of medicine by the application of chemistry. He already really stumbled upon minerals and knew they were building blocks for the body. Later on, Samuel Hahnemann, the founder of homeopathy, usually sort of in the mid 18s, investigated really extensively the psychological and also the pathogenic effects of the minerals like sodium and calcium, potassium or silica. Now, although what we call today biochemic tissue salt therapy was initially discovered and formulated by Dr. Wilhelm Heinrich Schüssler, that's why they're called also Schüssler cell salts, in the 19th century. And in one form or another, you know, have been around for ages. So when we go back into the times um, of the healing modalities in Egypt, in India, even in the Roman heydays, we knew about mineral spas, right? Even today in Germany, the Kneipp Spa was is a wonderful therapy. You know, you walk the tree, tread the water and you let the minerals soak into your body. Now, Dr. Schüssler was born in 1821 and he's truly the founder of these remarkable products. Now, he became interested in examining the effects of tissue salts on the human organism. Now, after practicing homeopathy, you know, he concentrated mainly on the mineral functions of the human body. And about 1873, he had his first research paper. Now the camp of homeopath didn't really like that. And uh, they said, what is this? What is he coming up with? You know, this is something new. Uh, we don't approve of that. In time, however, you know, the representatives of the journal homeopathic understanding had to acknowledge the long range effectiveness of biochemic tissue salts therapy. Dr. Schüssler really defended with great conviction his research and also could substantiate, even at that time already, the many you know, success stories of his patients. 
Now what he found was that the human body, when it's dead and you burn it, you cremate it, what's left is, is an inorganic mineral ash. And this ash is um, basically created by 12 mineral salts. So therefore, he thought, these minerals must be vital. You know, they must play a huge role in the health of the physical integrity as well as the proper functioning of the organism as a whole. He further investigated and even went so far saying that even different organs or parts of the body were made up of these different mineral compounds and even had a different ratio of these compounds. He therefore concluded that those different minerals and different ratios were vital again, not only for the general body, but the integrity and the functioning of the individual organs as well. So the original Schüssler method was based upon the deployment of these 12 inorganic mineral salts, which are made up out of um, an alkaline compound or an acid compound. It's almost like a marriage of two complementary uh, substances. That's why they work so well in the body. Now, try to understand that the Schüssler salts are not the sort of common mineral salts in the usual sense, because you find minerals in the earth formation, in the alkaline you know, substances of your food, but here we talk about potentized or diluted remedies. A little bit about homeopathy. You know, there is herbalism. We have a mother tincture, we have a herbal tincture. From there we take one drop out of that, we dilute it with water and alcohol in an empty vial, and then we succuss it, which means we shake the bottle, uh, you know, a certain amount, which I'm not going to go into detail now, but what it does, it releases an energy field uh, of this particular substance. So when you go in a shop and you buy a remedy called Arnica 30, the 30 number means it's 30 times diluted and succussed. With the Schüssler salts, we don't use water and alcohol, but milk sugar. The beauty of this method is that they directly nourish the cells in the organism. They go straight to the core of the very being of your cell. So each of the Schüssler minerals basic is their alkaline and acid elements, and they are uh, used in a combination. So this combination of alkalinity and acidity, in this case calcium phosphate, calcium is alkaline, phosphate is acid, means that the organism does not have to construct these combinations from a single element. Right? And that's a beauty here, that's, that's the magic. A fact that according to Dr. Schüssler is one of the reasons for the minerals effectiveness. So what we provide with this product are basically we provide something the body recognizes because that's what my body is made of anyway in the first place. And if there's a deficiency, I have a tool to give that to the body and the body takes it straight to the cell. Now the Schüssler salts achieve their effect, as I mentioned before, with the, with the cells through the inter- a cellular liquid at the cell membrane or directly with the cell itself and therefore they do not have to go through the digestive system or they bypass the digestive system so they get diluted and maybe even antidoted although having said that while you take the cell salts these minerals will support and boost and nourish the digestive system so you are able to assimilate your food in a much better way. So the effect of the minerals does not always immediately sort of address the individual symptoms, but it's sort of seen as an overall tonic. It re-establishes a harmony within your body and therefore also the function of your organs. 
So as I said, when you're deficient in minerals, in a, you know, and you want something which really addresses your cell, the biochemic tissue or cell salts are really the answer here. How do they differ from homeopathy? I'm not going to go in this video into details, but I just want to tell you that these Schüssler salts are exclusively substances that are already existent in a sufficiently balanced mass in a healthy body. And when we know we have a deficiency of that, when we are able to provide what the body needs in order to thrive. Now, children are growing. Right? all the time. Their bones are growing, their digestive system varies, you know, no I don't like my peas and the next month they love their peas, right? It's like this constant change, there's a lot of onslaught uh, on the cells um, demand and therefore we want to bring in the right nutrients here. Vitamins and minerals, you know, are beautiful, but they're also questionable because uh, this the source where they come from. So you really have to uh, come in with a really high quality uh, vitamin and mineral product if you choose that. But let's go into calcforce and ferrumforce. You maybe find that sufficient. So let's talk about calcforce. Calcium phosphate is in abundance in all tissues. The salt is found in the blood plasma, in the saliva, in the gastric juice, in the bones, in the teeth, in the hair, in the connective tissue, even in the milk. Right? It's an essential element. Now when children grow, right, they need nutrients. And when we are born, we don't come in perfect, Yet we have strong aspects and we have weaker aspects. So when we see certain symptoms appearing in our children, you know, we have a little alarm bell going up and say, okay, maybe there's a mineral deficiency rather than just running to the doctor and saying, can you give me an antibiotic for something which may be not needed? So I give you an overall view about the symptoms, what could occur, and why calcforce is so important here. So calcforce in general promotes healthy cellular activity. It also restores or uh, sort of really boosts the weakened organs. It's especially essential for proper growth of your children and nutrition of the body. It helps to rebuild new blood cells. If there is a deficiency you maybe see your child a little bit anemic, pale looking. There may be emaciation, right? losing of weight or weakness, a listlessness, or there may be a slow growth right? in poor digestion. The child is picky, it doesn't want to eat. Oh, I like the peas and the next month, no, I don't like them. Right? Something isn't working here. The assimilation of the food isn't working. Maybe your child eats well, but it's somehow, you know, the nutrients don't go into the cells. So calcforce assists the digestion and the assimilation. In combination with ferrumforce, if you see anemia, you want to bring in both of these products. This is a major remedy indicated for spasms or cramps. So if your child suffers from uh, growing pains, like lying in bed in the night and saying, oh my God, my legs are hurting, this is the remedy, right? Because if you go to a doctor, they say, well, just, you know, relax. The child is growing. It's just part of life. No, it's not part of life you can actually change that with a very easy, affordable remedy in your health food store. So growing pains is a big deal. In general, the circulation is a little bit slow here and therefore also the growth spurt is slow. So you wanna give the child a good boost. We don't see this uh, situations today, but it used to be indicated for rickets, which is sort of the mal um, deformation of bones. 
This is a major remedy indicated for dental formation. Uh, it's also a bonding agent in the organic constructions of protein, so it's an essential mineral compound. When your child has teething problems or we have even um, you know, tooth decay or um, dental problems, particularly with the enamel of the teeth, this is the remedy, right? Calc Foss. I've used it so many times and I can really say, yes, it does do the job. So in general, it boosts the bone structure and therefore teeth are so important. Also, if your child has sort of spinal curvature, if you find, you know, the bone structure is not really as strong. Broken bones maybe don't heal very well, yeah, if there was a, fr a fracture or an injury. We also see it in children who have a lot of nose bleeds, you know, where there's not just the blood coming up, but often clots, right? Really heavy blood um, clotting going on. It remineralizes the body and it strengthens, therefore, the immune system. Your child will be less prone to coughs and colds, right? It's also a great remedy for sleeping disorders. It's a restorative remedy, you know, after convalescence. If your child had a big bout of coughs and colds and you give it just to boost the immune system. It's a life-sustaining mineral. It's also for children I often give it when they feel a little bit overwhelmed. Like, you know, they go to school and usually in the afternoon or when they come home from school, they have a lot of headaches, right? Particularly when they get a bit older, teenagers. Well, I give Calcfos every day, you know, for months or two months to really support the general body organism. And it does help. It's beautiful. Now, of course, we talk about children, but as you can see, this remedy would be perfect for elderly as well, right? Because elderly are sensitive. They also have a sensitive digestive system. And this remedy not only provides the calcium, but also it improves the gastric digestive function. So all the vitamins and minerals which they consume via the food will be better assimilated. So it's a catch-22 in a really nice way. Do you see how important Kalkfos is? And these uh, tablets, as I said, they're a milk sugar, they taste lovely, they're soft tablets. Usually I do the dosage plan with four tablets for adults in the morning and evening. And for children, any age, I think up to 10. I would do two tablets morning and evening, sort of half the dosage. And because these are not sort of uh, remedies which target a particular physical symptom, they're more restorative, I usually give them for a month, right? Three weeks, four weeks, and then take a break. And then when the child has a growing spurt again, and maybe he or she talks about, oh my God, my bones, you know, growing pains are coming in again and it's hurting all over, I start again, right? It's a supportive, it's a restorative help here. Let's talk about the next remedy called ferrum phos. So ferrum means iron and phosphate is phosphate. Again, we have the alkaline and the acid combination. Calcphos and ferrum phos, I always get this analogy that calcphos is like the riverbed. Right? It's like it creates the structure, right? Healthy cellular growth. And ferrum phos is like the water in the riverbed. It creates a good flow. Now, we look at a dry riverbed, it doesn't make any sense, nor the water without a content or a shape where it can flow in just disperses, right? So they need each other. They go very well together. It's a great combo. Ferrum phos, what it does, it gives strength and toughness to the circular walls of the blood, particular the arteries, right? So now we're not just boosting the whole organism, now we bring in strength via the iron. 
Ferrum fos is found in your blood, in the veins, in the arteries, as well as the lungs, the ears and the nose. Now both iron and phosphorus are in the body independently, but phosphorus contributes to the bone and muscle health and iron aids exchange of oxygen in the blood and that's why we want to bring in the flow, the circulation now. Now found in all cells of the body but primarily uh, in the hemoglobin of the red blood cells which is the, uh, the red color. We also find it in the muscle cells of the blood and especially in the lymph vessels and in the hair cells. And you know with children the lymphatic system is so important, you know it's these glands um, you know when your child gets a cold they swell up um, and they feel like little balls you know in and under the ears as well as under the arms you know behind the knees and the lymphatic system is really our transport system which brings us nutrients to the cells as well it takes away waste products so if the lymphatic system isn't flowing well or is congested we get ill so it carries away waste and poisons from the affected tissue. It is the only metal salt among these 12 tissue salts. So what does it do? It freely provides circulation with oxygen-rich blood, which of course is essential to our health and life. In Chinese medicine we say congestion is illness and circulation is health. So that's what we want to do. We want to just move everything in our body. We want to feel that our chi is flowing. So we are we feeling health. It helps to release congestion therefore, right, and establishes flow. It is indicated in all early stages, acute stages of any inflammatory disorder. So on the first or second day when you feel like you're going down, you have a cold coming on, especially a little sore throat with a mild fever, ferrum force is the remedy. Children are very susceptible, you know, to colds and flu. They're very sensitive, they're a little bit nervous children here. And they also have a low energy. If you don't have enough oxygen inside you, you feel tired, right? There may be anemia. Again, we see the nose bleeds coming along, no matter what happens. I use this remedy majorly, also again, in congestive headaches in children, you know, studying a lot for an exam or just attending school. Ferrum force comes in when you have these muscular strains and sprains and it really increases the body development. Again, in combination with Kalkfoss, it's a major remedy for the development of beautiful teeth. Right? Now, when you have a free flow within your body, everything is moving, your bowels are moving, right? you're not having constipation. Now, when you go to the health food store or even to your doctor, he might prescribe you iron tablets for your anemia. And I tell you what, most of the iron tablets, if they're not plant-based, produce um, constipation, so be careful with that. Also, when everything is flowing in the body, you have more appetite. You enjoy your food better, and that's what we want to see with children. Children who have a deficiency of ferrum fos often vomit their food, right? It doesn't stay very long and therefore we maybe see loss of weight. It's a great remedy when also children, sometimes it happens because of fear, but particularly in new, newborns, if there's retention of urine, they're holding back the urine, it's not coming out very well again. The free flow of circulation of bodily fluids isn't happening. It's a great remedy even if you have a wound, you take some of this cell salt and sprinkle it onto the fresh wound, it stops bleeding. 
So in combination, Kalkfoss and Ferrumfoss is truly a godsend gift here and don't underestimate its efficiency. Because they have a very low potency, number six, you will have to give it more often and also for a longer term. In general, I say, you know, up to a month at least for the development of your child when you feel like appetite is not working, the digestion isn't working, child is listless, tired, you know, the teeth are not coming through very well. Um, I give this even to uh, very small children from two, three years old, you know, if I see that they need a boost and they need a boost for a while. And then you stop. I mean, these bottles usually contain here in America 500 tablets, so it lasts you a long time. They are affordable, but they're very effective. If in doubt, of course, contact your healthcare practitioner or I'm happy to help you with a personal consultation here at health at medicanova.net. These are only two of the products of these 12 different kinds of biochemic cell or tissue salts. And of course, there's much more to explore. And the more I even think about it, I may introduce more of these products in future videos. So I maybe just want to cover two of these remedies in one video because they're really such a joy to work with. And as I already mentioned, you don't need to be a certified practitioner to use these remedies. You just need to know what they're about and how to use them. And of course, if you're in doubt, again, contact me at health at medicanova.net. So I hope this little introduction about the homeopathic biochemic tissue salts or cell salts in the US give you a little bit more insight and also a courage to use these remedies with your children. For today, much love. Take care.